Okay. This lesson we'll be going over stalls. We'll demonstrate and explain power off and power on stalls. This exercise is to help you to understand, recognize, and safely recover in the event of a stall. Keep in mind that most stalls happen close to the ground, so we're going to be practicing them nice and high, so if we stay in them for a little bit longer, it's just for demonstration purposes. Let's start off with the power off stall. We're at 5,000 feet, maybe let's climb up to 6,000 feet just for a little extra room. You have to be recovered before 2,000 feet above the ground. We're in the practice area, and the ground out here on average is around 2,500, so 45 is safe, but we like extra room. As we're climbing up, we can start thinking about what we need to do. For instance, a hazel check. So height, we're working on that right now. Area, we're in the practice area. We can check on our map here. You can see that we're still within it. There's no one else in the area either right now, so we have the whole thing to ourselves. We also have to keep in mind that Alberta Beach, a town, is around Lac St. Anne. So maybe we'll want to do a 180 turn once we're leveled off to avoid that town completely. Also making sure there's nothing in the cockpit that's going to hit us or move around. We're buckled in, secure, the doors are locked. Everything's looking pretty good. Once we get to 6,000 feet, we'll level and then we'll do our lookout turn. 180 degrees back towards the south. So we can set our heading bug for that. So I turned it the wrong way. Sorry, Rob. No problem. Maybe do 170. So we're on the section line. Okay, so we look before we turn. Also, maybe make another radio call to the practice area. West practice area, traffic, this is Cessna 172, Echo Foxtrot Juliet, at 6,000 feet in the south part of the west practice area. Uh, planning to remain in the south part of the west practice area at 6,000. Any conflicting, please advise, Echo Foxtrot Juliet. Okay, so now we're going to line ourselves up on a south section line. We're going to get leveled off. So this means we want to have ourselves perfectly trimmed, our engine checks, and then we'll start our exercise. Mixture, fuel, gauges, other circuit breakers, master mags, and electrics are all where they need to be. So whenever you're trimmed and ready to go, we'll start by smoothly reducing the power all the way to idle for the power off stall. But how we'll transition through flight for range, flight for endurance, and through slow flight. As we do this, it's really important to be scanning outside and noticing the amount of pitch that we're requiring because we don't want to lose any altitude. As for the flight test standards, we're allowed to gain a little bit, but we want to try our best to stay as close to our desired altitude as possible. You can see as we're getting slow, we're really pitching up. Below 60, we're going to pitch and pull from that stall. So we're going to pull straight back, using our feet to control us, waiting for the stall. We're slow, the horn, there it is, the drop. Let's hold it. And we're stalled. So let's recover now. So nose all the way down to the nose down attitude. Full power. Waiting for our best glide or correction, our best angle or best rate of climb. So pitch that nose up as soon as we see that speed. Your heading and climb back up to your safe altitude. <laughs> 